Hey, everybody, this is a clip from the latest episode. Mary had a little man, man, man. The fault. We believe that all men are created equal. To the magnificent mosaic that is America. From radio beacon to radio beacon. I have a dream. Change has come to America. Believe me. Knock, knock. Who's there? Hey! It's a figment of your imagination. Randy Roach Show. Turn up your mind. Now more than 3 million reported cases of coronavirus in the United States, with record days in a number of states, including Texas and California. Mm. Against that backdrop, President Trump is touting the administration's response to the virus, saying, quote, we're in a good place, huh. pointing to the United States' mortality rate, even as we just heard, Dr. Fauci publicly calls that a false narrative. The president also is pushing state and local leaders across the country to reopen schools and colleges this fall. New modeling predicts a national spike, though, through those first months of school. Meanwhile, the Trump administration announcing it will formally withdraw from the World Health Organization early what? next year. Vice President Joe Biden says if he's elected, that will not happen. What kind of madness is this anyway? Has anybody figured it out yet? Because my big brain is uh, starting to hurt. I just, uh, I can't. Well, so <laughs> in, in the middle of a pandemic, the United States of America has decided that it's going to withdraw from the place that is doing the most research on vaccines and therapeutics, the world health organization as the united states tops three million cases and a hundred and thirty thousand deaths from a a virus you know what this is like this is like having your car break down in the middle of the desert and then using the last bit of charge on your cell phone to call and quit triple a who does this who, do, who does stuff like this and then brags about it. I mean, it's just so, this is, this is a precursor, everybody, just before warned of, of even worse decisions. If, if you haven't thought that pulling out of NATO or pulling out of the Pacific, uh, the Trans-Pacific Partnership or starting a trade war with China or killing a, a, an Iranian general and then having our troops suffer an Iranian missile attack and say they just had headaches, you know, firing uh, 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 inspector generals, uh, hiring the worst people in the world to be around him. You know, this, if you thought that those were bad, wait, this is this is just a precursor to even worse decisions. If if Donald Trump wins, God, if Donald Trump should somehow insist that he won, let's put it that way, when we all know he lost, and of course we'll all know he lost because the Senate will change parties, right? And the polling will show it was a blow. But let's say he go he says, no. I didn't lose. I'm st we the worst thing we could be attacked by Russia and Donald Trump will then say I'm withdrawing from NATO. Do you know? I mean, I get World Health Organization three things Donald Trump can't stand, but who does this? And now they want to send the kit. Yesterday at the close of the show, we got Donald Trump had some sort of a a meet and greet i mean these are not press conferences these are like uh, you know backstage events i mean this is like a meet and greet with uh, you know a uh, rat <laughs> round and round right that should be his little song no instead he's live and let die i mean just think about that for a presidential song for his appearances i mean it always should have been sympathy for the devil but it's you can't always get what you want and now it's live and let die. I mean, this just creeps me out. This just blows my mind, okay? But anyway, yesterday he had so, some like little meet and greet and, and friendlies were allowed to ask him questions. And, and, and I mean, he just, he sat there and he took credit for not killing all Americans. No, he really did. He, he actually, oh, we only lost 130 plus. It, it's over 130,000. I mean, it, it, you know, we have over 3 million cases. I think we have 3 million 30,000 cases now, right? Texas had its first day of over 10,000. Florida setting all kinds of records. So, I mean, it's just, and, and the Republicans don't want to go to the Republican National Convention in Jacksonville. 
I got a whole long list of people that have uh, RSVP'd. No. <laughs> and not even sending a gift. Just not going. They don't want to go. Charles Grassley, because he's like 86. No, he's a no. Susan Collins, she's a no. Lisa Murkowski, she says she's wrestling with it. She's wrestling with it because she's wrestling whether or not to support him at all. Do you know? I mean, and Mitch McConnell, I'll give him till Labor Day. What? To see how many people he can kill? But yesterday during his meet and greet, he actually said, oh, my God, that he saved hundreds of thousands of lives. I think it's very important to note that we've done it right. Uh, we closed up. We were amazing the way our, our great citizens uh, adhered to what we wanted to do. And we saved, I think, millions of lives. Now we want to be open. We understand the disease much better. Nobody knew what this was. Nobody had ever seen it before. There's been nothing like this since 1917. That's more than 100 years 18. ago. Uh, but we saved, we saved uh, tens of thousands of lives, hundreds of thousands of lives. And now we're open, and we want to stay open, and we will stay open. We're not closing. We'll put out the fires as they come out. Uh, I call them embers and fires and whatever you want to call them. He's taking credit for the people he failed to kill so far. The new modeling shows that we will see 200,000 deaths in this country from COVID by the end of August, by the end of August. And the president is literally taking credit for the hundreds of thousands of people he has so far failed to kill. This is like if on 9-11, Osama bin Laden was given credit because he didn't kill 3 million, 300, he only killed 3,000 people. Do you know what I'm saying? This is like, I, 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 why is the president counting the people he hasn't killed yet? Because he's still in the process of killing people. He is. I'm putting out the fires. Call them embers or fires or whatever you want to call them. I, you know what? I, I think I will call them what they are. Major out-of-control outbreaks of a deadly virus that causes blood clots in your heart and your brain and your kidneys and your lungs. That's what... Holy crap. He saved hundreds of thousands of lives. Hey, hey, I know. Let's build statues to Donald Trump all over the country to show what a farce our statue building is. So I said, put his face up there on Mount Rushmore, just get it over with. And some guys say, why would you want to do that? To show what a farce it is. To show what a farce. I don't think we had a decent president until FDR. I really don't. And then we just kept backsliding after that. It's like, oh, too much middle class, too much winning. <laughs> Let's lose again. This is unbelievable. This is just so, he is obsessed now, obsessed with killing your kids. He is obsessed with getting kids back to school despite the coronavirus risk. Well, can he make the kids safer by, I don't know, give more guns to the teachers and let them shoot the virus? You know, this is the crazy part of all of this, okay? The school part. Yesterday, he said clearly, this is how he uh, started closing the show because it came late in the day, this meet and greet. And he said he was going to pressure the states to open schools because, you know, schools are run locally, just like elections are run by the state. Schools are run by districts, even more locally than elections, right? And he has no control. 90% of the funding for schools comes from property taxes. The federal government kicks in about 10%. So he really can't do much about this. But we've got our kids going to school with bulletproof backpacks already. And now we want the teachers not only to drill the kids in shooter drills, but they're gonna show up now what? In bulletproof PPE? Guns and COVID, everybody. Welcome to Teaching in America. And the teachers are freaking living.